<laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back to New Pantheon Academia. I'm your host, Stephen Pope, and today on the anime-inspired role-playing game powered by Overarms, we are back from our mini vacation. We hope everyone had a fun and safe and no one lost any body parts 4th of July. If you, did, if you did potentially lose a, a and body And you're here? Part, I, hope, I hope you are now recovering safely. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad I you chose no us to did. help you recover. Yeah, you know, like, listen, if that happened, I'm sorry. And I'm glad you're here with us. We'll try to not talk about the fact that you no longer, I'm going to stop talking now. <laughs> we have a great show for you tonight. Let's go ahead and meet our cast, starting with... Uh, the dragon made themselves Aki. Oh, yeah. You better fucking believe it. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm Aki. Uh, I'm playing Emancipation Brown, a.k.a. Manny, uh, who uh, has the divinity of Ma'at, uh, the Egyptian goddess of truth, justice, and harmony. Uh, they are just, you know, a nice, supportive being over here, just trying to find the truth in life, you know, just trying to just trying to make the world a better place. Um, you know, making sure their friends feel like they, they can follow their dreams and be whatever they want to be. They're the ultimate cheerleader. Yeah. Next up, uh, they just joined the literature club, and it's been weird. It's Eric. Why, hello, everybody. Welcome on in. Uh, I'm Eric. I'm playing uh, Lennox Thatcher, the former captain of the football team, and now just... Man about town. <laughs> he is part of the school, uh, well, school safety squad, first of all, and True. he is on school council. That's correct. Yeah. His dad bought a wing. <laughs> oh, that sounds about white. Anyway, uh, he's the uh, wandering samurai with a golden voice. It's Critical Bard. I'll take that. I'm here for that. I thought you would. I thought that was a good one. Still not as good as a uh, downhill uh, skateboard riding towards homoeroticism, but I thought it was pretty good. No, it's better than that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Omega Jones, also known as Critical Bard. Um, I have chicken because I didn't eat before this because I was in the game. And I ordered Mountain Dew and they gave me sweet tea, which I'm not mad about, but they're not the same. Anywho, no, really and not. today <laughs> I am playing uh, Kwame Yaganyemi. Uh, the uh, the 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 oh god, he's gone through some some emotions this season so far. Damn it, he's had a uh, lot. Yeah, but you know uh, our lovable, uh, not safety squad captain of the uh, basketball team, uh, and with the uh, divinity of Anansi, the West African trickster god of stories. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, all right. And see, this is what I I thought the denial I thought denial was in Egypt. Well, that, that's, that's where I where thought that was located. And that's where your God comes from. It, it's all connected. And next up, they opened up a magical book, and now they got to hunt down a bunch of cards. It's Mika. I wanted that one. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, too bad. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm, I'm Mika. <laughs> I play uh, Dahlia Wingrove. Your lovable little theater kid who loves being on the safety squad with all of their friends, Manny, Lenny, Kwame, especially. <laughs> uh, no, fun, no, fun fact, also, CB, I was playing a trivia game on my phone and it was like Egyptian goddess of something. And I was like, it's a Nazi. And it was a Nazi or African goddess. Sorry, African goddess of something. God. Like, oh, thank, thank God, CB. Hmm. Let's go. <laughs> I know the Nazi reference as a goddess, though. It's usually a god, but hey. Look, That's most gods are it. gender neutral. They don't really, yeah. they, they, they may pick one to use, but it's so like gods. gender, gods don't have genders. Let's just let their. I mean, their Loki was a horse so. at one point. So. And so, Zeus right? was a sheep. Lady. Zeus or was a sheep. And, 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 uh, he was also a swan at some point too. Well, yeah. What is what is what is <laughs> whatever the fuck he wanted and whoever the fuck he wanted. Listen, if you want some Zeus hate, go back and watch the original New Pantheon. But <laughs> before I get to it, we do have some house clean to go. We are still aiming for two fifty dollars in tips an episode, or fifteen new subs, or Patreon pledges. 
all golden. Uh, listen, it helps pay the staff. It helps keep the servers running. It helps us do cool things like run our RP server. Still open, still completely free. We highly recommend you join. It's been very interesting to see what you guys make. And they are canon. And hey, they might be making an appearance today. Who knows? Um, a tip of $15 or 15 bit. 1500 bits gets you five to get or five gift subs will allow you to send a message which we will read live on the air uh well our mysterious uh school uh secretary will read it on the air she has a very interesting life we're learning more and more about her every episode uh and if you check out our friends at die hard dice uh they help keep us live and we love them for it uh, you can check them out right now with exclamation point DH dice in the chat for links and info. You can buy Critical Bards dice, double dip on being a good friend. So check that out when you get a chance. And hey, if you're watching this later or listening to us, hi, I hope you enjoy my beautiful, beautiful cartoon cat like voice. Um, <laughs> hey, we always appreciate it. Just remember thumbs up, five stars, whatever you do on whatever platform. We really do love it. We really do appreciate it. Smash and that hey, like button. Don't smash that like button, as the kids say. I've Wait, killed CB, out. and we are not two minutes in. I'm so proud of myself. I set a new record. I you suddenly want Lenny to become like a, a YouTuber now. Oh yeah. my god, 100%. Lenny as an influence. <laughs> like yeah, <laughs> um, like a like a like a motivational TikTok person. He's like, "Sup, fam? It's you oh know." So no. While no. we're in a battle, he's just like. What's up, everyone? So I'm here right now. Uh, get my ass kicked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably wondering where, how I got here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and hey, lastly, please consider joining our Patreon and be part of the new Exploration Society. Your support comes with many rewards, special pins, swag, merch discount, one-page adventures where I show up as a halfling. It's very fun. Uh, join society. Join today. It's very, very cool. And one more thing, lots of love to our friends over at Roll20. They keep us alive. And I love Roll20. It is a virtual tabletop that's great for not just Dungeons & Dragons, but literally almost every goddamn system I can name. So check it out. It's worth your time. Now, to begin, I need all of you to roll me a d20. A d20? Like a d20, yes. The round one. Like one. The one with... The 20 sides that you only roll if you're dying? Yes, that one. Well, I guess oh, we die. Okay. Uh, we died. I guess that I sucks. <laughs> Who's Dunkor? <laughs> Nobody, shut up. <laughs> we all rolled. Okay. Uh, Aki, what number did you roll? I rolled a three. Okay. You have someone to kill, Emancipation Brown. That's right. The name you drew at the beginning of the campus-wide game of assassination is Christina Thompson, the president of the drama club. Good. Dahlia, what name did you get? Do I get, oh, oh, uh, seven. Seven. I was like, do I get ah, to pick? No, 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 no. <laughs> you have to assassinate Ben Pendleton. That's Not my is. son. <laughs> That's no, no, Nick. No. That is Nick. Never mind. Never mind. Next. <laughs> ben Pendleton, pep squad, dance team, soccer, anime club, is possibly part of the drama club. You're not positive. But he's Doing everywhere. Doing too much. Doing yeah. too much. Kwame, what did you roll? A 10. Ah, you have a very easy target. Brandon Shock, who's just been released from the hospital. That's so mean! Hey, he signed up for the game. It's probably oh. his way of helping him with, helping with recovery, like kind of renormalizing his life. Yeah. <laughs> but still. Oh, and Lenny. What did you roll? Lenny rolled a six. Ah, uh, you're you have to kill Anders Hagan. He's dead. I'll get him. <laughs> what the fuck? Member of the Popular Music Club and the Music Appreciation Society. 
He's Norwegian. And soon your victim. Where did you get that knife? I made it. Oh. What do you what do you have in your hand? A knife! A knife. No! no! <laughs> <laughs> yes. I made, I made this one. And it's actually very cool. That is that out that. of a railroad spike? It is out of a railroad spike. Oh, that's so neat. Cool. Mm -mm. Yes. As the school year is winding down and everyone is pulling their hair out because, oh my God, finals are coming. This is a big one. I don't want to have to do summer classes. That's going to be so embarrassing. Someone who shall remain nameless decided to put together a game of assassination where each of you were given a plastic spoon with a name on it. And you must find this person, kill them by bopping them in the forehead with said plastic spoon, and taking their plastic spoon. There can be only one winner, and the winner gets a $50 gift card to Chili's. Yo, that cheese dip and those chicken tenders. Mm -hmm. Pretty much the only thing that is important about Chili's. And we, we, know, our, we know our own targets, correct? You know your targets. You don't yeah, know yeah, who's yeah. targeting you, and, you, course, and yeah. I don't know if you're trusting each other. True. Hmm. hmm. As I need to roll to see how seriously Man is actually <laughs> taking this game. Please do. Please. I, I, want it, I want you to roll that. I really want to know how serious Manny is taking this. I'm going to flip a coin. One side of it, if I flip, I, I have one of the Paizo like um, soul like soul coin things. If I have the P, they're taking it very seriously. If it's the other side, they really don't give a shit. So I'm gonna flip it. They don't give a shit. All right. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I, I don't even need to roll. Dolly is definitely taking this. Like it's the most important thing in the entire world. Yes. Kawame wants to take it seriously. <laughs> But his target. But he, he got the hospitalized kid. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I don't, I don't think this is fair. I, I think I, I, I have to give up. I have to let them bop me on the forehead. Like I have to just do this. Like I can't, I can't win against them. This is wrong. I think, I think Lenny's, he's at least trying a little bit. Oh, you are really quiet, Eric. So I probably, quiet. I probably, you are having some issues today because really. We he was fun like earlier, hot. but yeah. hot in chat. But we didn't realize that. Yeah, <laughs> I turned myself way down because because I was screaming into chat. Oh, poor chat. We're sorry he yelled at you. I'm not. Oh. Uh, well, Dahlia, you're in a very good spot. Not only has Morpheus uh, donned a adorable little bunny suit, his small growing army of bunnies you don't know where he keeps finding them have also dedicated themselves to being your bodyguards perfect netting you an unfair advantage that i i'd also i'd like to command some of them to follow around ben and get his daily schedule so that i know where he would be at any given time they do so. Um, sadly, they're rabbits, and they're not exactly great at handwriting. <laughs> so their notes are a little bit... Yeah, no the thumbs. <laughs> they got no thumbs. Holding the pen is very hard. <laughs> but they're trying, damn it. Uh, so, it's Tuesday morning. It's been several days since your fight with Gap. Uh, Christina Thompson who was possessed by that scarecrow, has also been released from the hospital and is also competing. Though her recovery was a lot faster than Brendan's, it seems like. Well, I'm just feeling so awkward about this. <laughs> but it's been several days. You are completely healed. Uh, you have full HP, AP. What are you doing on a Tuesday morning? It's like 7.30. Class starts soon. Uh, Manny has been trying to pick which song they're going to sing for uh, their audition for the for the for the spring musical. Yeah, what of it? What what's been winning? Um, well, it's been difficult to find something in their range. Uh, so they've been kind of like tossing around a few ideas. I think they haven't approached Dahlia about it yet because they're feeling not necessarily shy about it, but like 
like this they are taking seriously they're like they want to do a good job so that even if they don't get cast they can at least tell dolly and they did their best so a lot of what they're looking at is like rogers and hammerstein type stuff like stuff that's fairly well known um that is fairly easy to learn um but can still be impressive uh, in the right situation so yeah all right. I, Dahlia. Uh, Dahlia knows you're going to try out for the school musical, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, she, I, I basically. You bullied everyone into doing it last episode. It, so. <laughs> she would have spent like three whole nights burning all of her old audition song CDs and making sure everyone has their own copy and then their own like sheet music. And giving everyone like one of those cheap little flip cameras so they can record and like listen back to it. And she would have Is like handed a flip. No, it's like the little flip cameras that were popular back in like 2008. Yeah. Has a the tiny flip. little screen. Yeah. Yeah. She just has a bunch of those because nobody I mean, wants them anymore. We are at boarding school and we're all rich. So. Yeah. <laughs> and she would have given them to everyone and been like, these are the songs I think would fit your voice the best. Here you go. I just want you to know, Omega, CB, complete war flashbacks. Because you are <laughs> where every little brunette, white mezzo who thinks she's a mezzo right now. But the thing is, you're the fr- we're the friend of the brunette, white mezzo. So we're dealing with all of not the negative stuff, but still everything that they are. And it's like, oh, God. <laughs> kind of like the girl from Glee, except you like her. Yeah, yeah. Don't call me yeah. Rachel Berry. <laughs> she's not Rachel, though, no. Not even close. Not Rachel. She's not Rachel. But still, yes. oh, Lord. Anywho. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> eventually, uh, uh, sure. Uh, he has not really said yes to this yet. Mm. Just, free will is a thing. <laughs> Either way, uh, Kawame in the morning um, probably um, check in with Dr. Ash and potentially Dr. Wang if she's still out. Uh, like out cold meaning. Um, oh, she recovered pretty quickly. Okay. <laughs> uh, then yeah, he would just make sure at least she's in her class. She won't, he about won't go in, but if she's like in her classroom, just make sure they're like she's cool. She's great. She's cool. She's great. She's great. She's cool. Okay, good. Yeah. I think he would do what he needs to do for class. Mm. Right. How about you, Lenny? Uh, Lenny's probably sent a video of him, like, doing, like, the, the song. I, I'm thinking the, the song that I think of that he would be doing would probably be, like, Get Me to the Church on Time <laughs> or something like that. Like, he's got he's got four bars of that that he recorded for Dahlia to <laughs> be like, uh, is this what, uh, like, uh, so, excuse me, excuse me, sir, sir. You cannot enter this room until you consent to a pat down. Um, Morpheus says, wearing sunglasses and, <laughs> and uh, with two other rabbits on, staying to the side of him. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, sure. I, okay, pat, pat, okay. Pat, 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 pat. What What do they do when it's not a powered student that comes up to the door? People and are just confused rabbits. of why a rabbit, it, why these rabbits are like intentionally blocking the way and then like sometimes <laughs> nipping at them. Cool. And everyone just assumes you become like the crazy bunny girl who put sunglasses on their rabbit. I'll take it. Okay. All right, boss. He's clear. He's clean. No spoons. Get in there. Oh, Lenny. Welcome. Not here for any nefarious purposes, are we? Uh, no. Uh, wait a minute. No, not us. But now, why'd you have to think of it that hard? <laughs> huh? Uh, Where were you last night? I heard someone walking around my dorm room. Uh, well, I wasn't in your dorm room. Being cagey, eh? All right, keeping all the uh, important information to yourself, huh? Um, am I? I can't trust anyone here, Lenny. Oh, can't you? No. We need to talk about that. I am still technically like the RA or whatever. Everyone's my enemy. They're all out to get me. What if everyone got a spoon with my name on it? Huh? Uh, yeah. Uh, 
I guess that's yeah. I could see how that could be stressful. Um, do you need to talk about it? No. Okay. I just need to kill Ben. Okay. Oh, cause the game. Yeah, cause I was gonna say like that's kind of. Hey, yeah, Lenny, the game. I'm not actually this mean. I'm playing a part right now. Oh, you're playing it real. You're. So... I always forget like, like how good you are at acting, cause you're like you're like so good at it. Yeah, well, I'm going for the Goldie this year. That hasn't actually been established yet, but I'm going to establish the Goldie Awards this year, and then I'm going to take home the big one. Yeah, uh, it's it's going to be good. You're like, you're like one of the best actors I've like, like ever seen. <sighs> Make sure to write that. To college. Make sure to write that in all the forums for the Goldies when I establish them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cool. I don't, and and I don't think it's weird that you're like setting up a, a awards ceremony and then you you win the first one because somebody's got to win the first one. Well, yeah. Okay, maybe I should get a team to help set it up because then people are gonna say it's rigged and I'm gonna have to deal with that for the rest of my life. Do you want to be part of it? Do you want to help me make? Oh a yeah, hey, sure. Yeah, I. I... I, uh, I excuse me, like sir. Excuse time. me, sir. Three feet distance at all times. Thank oh, yeah. you. Sorry, 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 yeah. sorry, sorry. Step back. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. It's a hard security detail. Yeah, I get it. They've kind of like set up their own rules, and I, even I can't do some things, even though I'm their boss. Wow, that's that's like thorough. It's for your own protection, ma'am. I understand. Thank you. Okay. Well, do you want some of them? For your, for, what if you get killed? Have you been killed yet? No, I don't think so. Oh. I fell out a window. Oh, uh, no, the game. Uh, yeah, the assassination game. No, not that I know of. I think it would be pretty obvious, though. Yeah. Hmm. Have you seen? Oh my gosh, what if, what if Manny and Kwame have been killed already? I'll, I'll ask. I text them. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just get a dot, 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 <laughs> no, dot. All it said was, have you been killed? And man, so, like, Manny I... sends a message back being like, of course not. <laughs> okay. They don't seem to have been killed. Gosh, competition's really, really weak this year. Oh, yeah. By this time last year, like, half the campus was dead. Yeah. Uh, it's at that point you hear screaming coming from the girls' restroom. Uh, familiars, <laughs> the rabbits immediately make a bunny barrier around you. Let Lenny be in this too. Lenny's not an enemy. It turns from a circle to a bit of an oblo oblong uh, oval to accompany Lenny. <sighs> And you hear the familiar voice of Nanako Majima. Ah, damn it, Kim, you're not even in this dorm. What are you doing in the bathroom? Hey, you were my target. It wasn't my fault. You should pay more attention. Oh, oh gosh, at least Kim's not my killer. Oh, that's honestly like, that would be terrifying. Like, of all the people to. I feel like she'd oh. take it a little too real, you know? Yeah. Like you'd wake up in like in the middle of the night and she'd be like standing over your bed or whatever. Yeah. Well. Yeah. <laughs> As Nanako grumbles, walking back to her, walking back to her uh, room in a bathrobe, just with a large uh, bandage on her forehead where she got whacked with a spoon. Kim comes. Walking towards your room, Dahlia, juggling at least three. Three spoons? Three spoons. With names on them? With names. How, how <laughs> did you get more than one? I told oh. you. I told you, Lenny. Oh, Dahlia. Sweet, sweet Dahlia. That gift card is mine. Okay? I am going to be the assassin left standing, Dahlia. This, this is my world. Over my dead body. Oh, we can arrange that. Yeah, we can. 
You're not my target, but... How many rabbits do you have in here? Oh, they they keep multiplying. Don't worry about it. (laughs) Morpheus, you dog. I'm a bunny. Yeah, he's a bunny. My mistake. All right, well, I gotta go kill Nick, so uh, see you later. That's like I hope not, Kim. I told you something, something hecky's going on here, Lenny. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't like I, it's not that I didn't believe you, but having seen it like in its full form, yeah. You should stick with me all day. I, me and the buns will protect you. Yeah, okay. They're buns of steel, I promise you. (laughs) Nothing gets past them. They clench so tightly around us. That sounds like super safe. It is. And as people begin trickling out, heading towards their classes, Kwame, you are in uh, Dr. Wang's class. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> and under your desk is Spiro. Uh, why are you down there? Because I don't want to die. Aha, uh-huh. so you go under my desk. So now I'm a more of a target. Well, you're not the... You... If I recall correctly, you said, <clears throat> that sounds lame, and you're not doing it. So, no, oh, that's when not. When I said that, I apologize. That's, I, I said, I do not mind playing, but I feel like I can't play right now. Oh, because you got, you got Brendan. How did you know? Uh, okay, you said, I can't play, and there's, Two reasons you wouldn't play. One, it's Lenny, and that wouldn't be awkward for you. Two, it's why someone would, who doesn't sound eh, Oh, mm, no, nope. go back. Why, why would so. it be awkward? Hmm? What are you implying? Hmm? What are you saying? Hmm? I'm very close to uh, kicking range, so I'm just going to say nothing. This is America, and I complete the fifth. Mm-hmm. Okay. Anyway, no, I, yes, um, yes, I pulled Brendan, and I feel, I feel bad. But that does not mean I'm going to let someone hit me. You don't have mine. I'm, <clears throat> Anansi? Um, I want Anansi to crawl under and look for that damn, look for, um, Spiro Spoon to make sure my name isn't on it. <laughs> All right, uh, go ahead and give me intelligence power. Spend an AP point, just one. Cause something like he, he could be he can be trying to one up me right now. Get, 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 get on me. And I ain't here for that. Uh AP power. AP power. Intelligence power. Boom. Eleven. Eleven. More than enough. Uh he immediately comes bounding out from under the desk, like, hey, no, no, get it. No, no, unacceptable. Uh, and Nancy hops off his shoulder onto yours, holding a spoon that says Nicholas McDonald. You are going to kill my son. Okay, it's weird. You keep calling him that. And it's my son. It's fine. Uh, fine. Yes, but th- that's the game. It's nothing personal. You're correct. Nothing personal. I'm gonna whack him with that with his own spoon on his on his forehead. <laughs> Go to give me a strength roll and remember your plus seven. Plus six. Plus six, I apologize. <laughs> to twelve. <laughs> Get wrecked, Spiro. <laughs> well, well, it was a max day. It was a max die. It was six. Plus six. <laughs> Much like your uh little push at the water park, you send him flying across the classroom. Desk go flying. Students uh, books are everywhere, papers everywhere, and above him, 
Hey, oh. I look at Dr. Wang. Sorry, he um he tripped. What happened? He 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 thought that uh he needed to go to the to the board and write down the answer, and instead he he tripped and hit his face with a spoon. Collect your spoon, Mr. Akademi, and please no more assassinations in my classroom. Thank you. You hear that? No more assassinations. No more hitting with spoons. Ah. I like open yes. my book. <laughs> like start doing. I got yeah. Now, Manny, wh what's your first class of the day? Um, I have a feeling it's math. Oh, no. Yeah. I have a feeling it's math, which is the worst possible first class that you could have for the day. That oh. being said, when you're done with it, it's also over, and you don't have to deal with it for the rest of the day. So That's what I'm thinking about, too. I'm like, mm, it sucks, but I'll get it done with. Mm -mm, yeah. Mm -mm. So nope. first class nope. of the day is listen, math. Listen, I know the age range our show seems. Some of you guys are going to start college. Don't do it. Don't take the 8 a.m. math class, okay? Don't sure, do great. it. Sounds great, but no. Eventually, you're shotgunning Red Bulls uh, on the bus there, and you're forgetting everything because it's 8 in the morning. Do okay? not take 8 a.m. math classes. It's how Don't they get it. you. It's how they get you. That's how they get you. The, yes. the war flashbacks that everyone just had. Because <laughs> I did take the 8 a.m. math class, and I live with regret. <laughs> I think I'm worse at math now because I did that. I was never all that great at it to begin with, uh, but that kind of that that was the end for me. Once I finished math for uh, for college, I was like, never looking back. Mm -mm. Nope, nope. I can add and I can subtract and I can multiply in a pinch, and that's pretty much all I need to be able to do. <laughs> Divide if necessary. Yes. So. You are sitting next to I Ido Bowen, uh, the Welsh Language Club and Music Appreciation Club. He has his headphones on. He's blaring music. He's drinking what looks to be like his third Red Bull. He is not. He's well, not maybe here you for shouldn't. This. You shouldn't drink so much of those, right? It's like really, mm -hmm. really bad for you. Um. Yeah, but. Uh, I'll fail this class otherwise. I have a hard time believing that is true. Uh, I mean, what's 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 more, what's worse, potentially failing a class or you know heart failure from consuming too many energy drinks? My GPA dropping. But I feel like there's a weird, a weird prioritization here that is it no uh, how can I help uh, he does not seem to be paying attention to you as he gets back to studying and drinking his Red Bull as uh, the teacher comes to the front I can only describe him Squidward in man form I mean we've seen that in the show have we didn't that happen? Like Handsome Squidward? Handsome Squidward was just Squidward with better bone structure. When did Handsome Squidward happen on my show? Not on your show. On on on, on Square, SpongeBob. SpongeBob SquarePants. Yeah. Oh, well, yes. He gets cosmetic surgery and he looks all handsome. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. I haven't watched SpongeBob. I am in my 30s. But I do appreciate this. I mean... SpongeBob is I haven't watched it either, but I am I am I'm a well aware of, of the memes. Listen, I quote it far too often, but yes. Uh as uh Professor Professor OJ takes his uh front of the uh, front of the classroom and begins explaining uh something. I don't know. Go ahead and give me an intelligence roll, Manny. Oh, this will end well. Here we go. Yep, about right. It's a two. 
Manny, you got none of that. The nope. whole class, you were sitting there two hours, you paid attention, you had your notes, you tried. Nope. Mm -mm. Like none of this stuff landed anywhere near you. The good news is it looks like you're not alone, but I am going to go ahead and roll for Ido. Roll the you did okay. The Red Bulls work. Dahlia, it's about halfway through your first class. Now, what is your first class of the day? My first class of the day is probably history. Yeah, history. That's the first thing I thought of. All right. Uh, Professor Souza is explaining, uh, you know, kind of the... Some of the more nuanced parts of World War II they never talk about, namely uh, camps. It's really fun. It's just what you need first thing in the morning. <laughs> <sighs> and you begin to smell smoke. Um, hey, uh, go, go check it out. I'm going to whisper to the bunnies in my bag. You swear you only had three in there, but now you have six. Uh, they hop out of your bag, do some recon, come back. Negative. All clear. Not a hit on us? Uh, not that I can tell, no. All right. I thought they'd, they'd strike during first period, but we've got a waiter. Okay. All right. And Dahlia, when you look outside, the quad is on fire. Oh, that's, that's not good. I'm going to raise my hand. Huh. Uh, yes, Dahlia? Um, this is riveting stuff. Um, the, well, the quad's on fire. I'm not sure if you could see with your eyes, but I think. The class all stops and looks out like, I don't see, what? Hmm? Miss Wingrove, I understand this isn't exactly riveting Tuesday conversation, but if you're going to make up a lie, at least make up something a little more. I I'm don't not know. feeling very well. Can I go to the bathroom? Take the hall pass. Whew, thank you. I'm going to grab all of my stuff and just leave <laughs> with, with the hall pass. <laughs> As you do. Dahlia, when you enter the school hallway, it is on fire. All of it. Fan out. Something's going on. Nobody else can see this. Uh, see what? Morpheus asks. <laughs> All right. It it was funny when the teacher did it, but that joke's already used up, Morpheus. Everything's on fire. Don't you want your fur to not get singed and burned off? Yeah. Um, Morpheus looks around. Dahlia, nothing's on fire. Does it feel hot? Oh, it feels very hot. And I actually need you to make a dexterity roll. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for a four. Mm -hmm. Hey, I got a two. <laughs> Great. Uh, you take, <laughs> let's go ahead and roll this real quick. Well, things are going well so far. Yeah. Three harm as a support beam falls, singed black in flames. Uh, the, the heat is just immeasurable. I'd like to call upon Persephone and ask her to summon a bunch of uh, aloe plants that are already open and just, I wanna use it as armor. Okay. Um, before you do that, could I get a uh, strength roll from you real fast? Oh my gosh. What's happening? A three. You try, but the smoke is just so thick and strong. It is very hard to concentrate. Yikes. I'm going to fire all of you. Someone's trying to kill me. I'm going to like... I guess stop, drop, not roll. I'm not on fire yet, but I'd like to get out of the smoke and start crawling somewhere, anywhere. 
Well, thankfully, there is a fire exit. That's um, where I'll crawl. <laughs> all right. You make it outside, and it looks like the whole world is on fire. Um, I can't call Persephone? You can try. Uh, being outside makes it a little easier, like the smoke has been dispersed some, but being inside is very difficult right now because it's on fire. Okay, I, I want to ask Persephone if she knows what's going on. If I can get in contact with her. Yeah. Um, she appears and she doesn't look so great. Uh, she looks kind of haggard and burnt herself. Someone is attacking us. Yeah, I got that. It's that person with the spoon. I don't think this is part of the game. How do we get out of the fire? I don't know where the fire ends. Um... Can I get Persephone to do anything? Absolutely. I'd like to I'd like to build a cactus around myself. I'd like to be in a giant cactus. Okay. Uh go ahead and give me a roll. Uh let's make it uh strength and defense. Nine. All right, you have a, we'll round that up. You have a cactus of five. Okay. Yes. The bell rings as class comes to an end and there is now a uh, human sized, well, Dahlia's kind of on the shorter side. There is a, what? She is canonically. Yes. I know, but me as a tall person took it personally. <laughs> Shall we? Shall we just go to our yeah, corner? To our, our corner where the short people go. Yeah. Yes. No, no. I, I think we need to go there. Yeah. I think we need to go there. Right. You you guys, you're new. Okay. Here's the pronouns for everyone over six feet tall. Fee fi fo fum. <laughs> I'm so. Nothing is wrong with being short. I'm just I'm I'm proud to be tall. That's it. I I'm proud of my height. Ah, look at me. I can ride the spinny cups at Disneyland. <laughs> You wait. You can't. I can. I can. You can. It's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> you believed it though. I. 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 The only reason I can't is because it make they make me very ill. <laughs> they make me. They make me incredibly ill, and I can't. If I can, them. if I can ride them alone, where it, I don't spin them, it's fine. But my friends like to go like Mach eleven in the spinny cups. It's nope. That's a no from me, dog. Boyfriend almost broke it one time. Wow. Yeah. So as class comes to an end and you all come just stomping out of your classrooms, Lenny accompanied by some bunnies, <laughs> uh, you notice a human sized cactus on the fire escape of the uh, math and science building. I mean, I'm sorry, the history and English building. Yeah. Uh, typically not a cactus there. So Lenny's going to go <laughs> check that out. Someone. Someone hacking like leave a cactus or whatever. I'm, I'm looking to see if there's like if it's in a potted plant or if it has a note attached to it. <laughs> I I imagine it just growing out of the stairs. <laughs> oh wow, it's like not even dirt or anything. It's like <laughs> wild. It's like when you play Pokemon, one of the older Pokemon games where your Pokemon follow you and you got Diglett. <laughs> and you're on top of something, it's just like, okay, this is bullshit, and you know it. <laughs> I'm curious, uh, can can Dahlia see Lenny from inside her no, cactus? I, no. <laughs> no, Dahlia, you are inside a cactus. It is incredibly uncomfortable, and it is getting it warmer. As James and the Giant Peach, like, I'm just <laughs> in here making friends with a bunch of bugs. <laughs> Sadly, there are no bugs. It is just... Honestly, it's Plant May matter. from Overwatch when May goes into her cryo form. Yeah, yeah. She's like, 
God, I want to play Overwatch now. Are are Morpheus and the other bunnies like around this cactus? Uh, you notice there's a lack of bunnies, but there is a Morpheus who looks very concerned. Oh, Lenny, hi. Uh, you left your uh, cactus outside. Uh, that that that's Dahlia. Could could you call the others real quick? Oh, yeah. I'm just gonna text. Thanks for having a Dahlia's crisis. A cactus. And then and then send a pin. Why do I get this on my phone inside the cactus? Yes, you do. I'm not a cactus. I'm inside of a cactus. What is going on? <laughs> the Dahlia's... world is on fire. Where is, is everyone? You? I send a pin. <laughs> Dahlia is in a cactus. I mean, global warming is making everything hot, but a cactus is a little bit ridiculous, Dahlia. Are you okay? Dot, 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 erase. Dot, 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 what? I don't know how much more clear I can make this. Dahlia's in a cactus. inside the cactus in the dark. I need a dexterity roll to see if Dahlia can actually do that. Nine. Well... You actually managed to get some great <laughs> angles in there, and it's so it's dark lighting, but you know you 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 got flash on your phone. You make it work. I can say you really don't want to get hit by a spoon, apparently. <laughs> it's the fire that I'm worried about, Kwame. What fire? What? <laughs> Everything is on fire. I got burned. A beam fell on me. Persephone said I'm being attacked, and the. She doesn't know where the fire ends. I think at this point, uh, like while te texting while walking is basically what's going on. And like Manny finally hits the like history, like English and history building. I, I and think kind of Manny and Kwame like uh, not collide <laughs> literally with each other, but just, oh, okay. <laughs> and they sort of rock up together and look uh -huh. at the cactus. This seems extreme. What fire are you talking about? I don't see a fire. Do we Am see I fire? able to like peek no. out of the cactus? Yes, Dahlia. As you peek out of the cactus, you do see your friends. Uh, they are surrounded by uh, fire. The building is a burnt out husk of what it once was. Uh, you do not. You see other students walking around, walking through the flames, coming out charred. Uh, you see a uh, rather cartoonish, ghoulish skeleton at one point. Uh, this whole thing is very horror movie-esque. How, how are you guys standing it? You're standing in the fire. There is no fire. Did one of you say the M-word? One of you said the no. M-word. You said it. Oh! You said the M-word. <laughs> and now everything's on fire and we can't get away from it. And I keep yelling fire, but no panic is happening. I don't know what the M word means, but I have an M word that might work out a, bit, a little bit better for all of us. Morpheus. Uh, Ma'at. Whoosh. Behind you appears the golden wings of Ma'at. Oh, this is an interesting one, Manny. We need to stop slaying CB. We have killed CB at least two <laughs> times this game. We need you, CB. Stay with us. <laughs> Come, Come back to us, don't. Joke. I mean, I got it too. <laughs> I, I got good. it too. <laughs> Manny, on the other hand, is just like. <laughs> but uh, Maat, can you perhaps elucidate on the nature of this fire that our friend Dahlia is seeing right now? I can try. I need a roll from you, Emancipation uh -huh. Brown. Go ahead, spend the. Uh, AP point, and we are going to make this range and intelligence. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry. That My was, oh, shit. Two worst <laughs> stats. Here we go. This should be fun. Nine. Nine, pretty good. Um, we were looking for a t 10, but this is close enough. I'm going to at least give you this. You notice uh, kind of almost like cracks of white leading off Dahlia and heading through the school. It kind of looks like if you were to stomp on concrete with steel boots and just these small little 
cracks and they are definitely following her. Huh, that's interesting. And it's like that moment, you know, sometimes where just all of a sudden Manny's got like their, their, um, uh, the Sherlock hat. The, the Sherlock yeah. hat. And oh, what is it called? Uh, I forgot what it's called, too. I know exactly oh, what you're I talking about. I own one and I just can't not a, remember. Not a what, boiler hat. Light? what is it? Shocker. Deer deer deer, yeah. They put Thank on their deer soccer and pull out their magnifying glass and they're looking at the cracks. Interesting. What do you see? Because obviously Dahlia is seeing nothing or everything. I don't know. There appear to be white cracks emanating from Dahlia that are following her from... Do I see like where from what direction the cracks Yes, you do. Be? You can follow it pretty clearly. Uh, That way. And, you know... Manny points in the direction. Dahlia, I think you need to come out of the cactus so that you can come with us. Uh, Persephone, can we move the cactus with us? It's so hot out there, Manny. It's so hot. Isn't it hot in Go there? Go ahead. I imagine you're now like all sticky from like the cactus juice. But I, at least I'm not burning to a crisp. I have to keep my skin hydrated, Manny. Okay. I love the priorities you do what you, you do what you gotta do friend i be, i believe that what you're seeing is real to you and that's what matters dahlia give me dex and defense oh. 11. okay um this is not a graceful solution but effectively dahlia can now move in the cactus, but it's mostly just kind of like little feet. Beep, boop, 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 boop. We can just tell, we can just tell, if anybody asks, we can just say that Dahlia just got hired as a mascot at like a, a country western bar or something. I don't know. Uh huh. Wait, did Dahlia get a job at a country western bar? That's That's awesome. No. Yes, Lenny. She's working at Chili's now. This oh. is the mascot. I wish it was Chili. We can get you some ice cream later. And, 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 or shaved ice, whichever you prefer. Oh, both. Mixed into one. Well, you know, there's some disgusting. places that do something like that. <laughs> please. Please end this now. We're, uh, we're going. We're going. Everybody follow me. And as hmm? can I try and can Lenny try and uh, and and calm emotion a little bit, see if that like helps. The, mm, the... Sure. Dahlia, go ahead and give me a charisma defense roll. Do not spend an AP though. Fifteen. Okay, uh, Lenny, your target number is fifteen. Okay, uh, oh, and this would. I guess this would just be a regular magician thing for me. Yes, it would. Uh, I'll spend my two AP points because it's my second level. Boop. Uh, so is a four going to do it? <laughs> <laughs> Buddy. Hey, Dahlia, just like think about not being on fire. Yeah, I'd love to do that, Lenny. <clears throat> Kwame's just walking. <laughs> Just no, not not no. But also just looking around, making sure no one else is trying to like sneak up on them just in case anybody else got our our names on spoons because he will punch them. All right, uh Kwame, I need a uh intelligence roll. Ooh. Crit. All right. You do see uh Pyotr Roskov, who is trying to be sneaky despite being six foot three and a very brawny Russian man, who, uh, hiding behind a trash can. Who does it look like? Who, who does it seem like he's looking at? He's got eyes. He only has eyes for Manny. Mm, well, um, <clears throat> he goes, okay. Hey, um, <clears throat> uh, I, <clears throat> um, I dropped my my phone. I'm gonna go get my phone real quick. Okay. 
All right. Yep, I'll, I'll come right. I'll come right back to you. I'll be right, right, right back. Do, 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 and I will do, step do. away for a second while they walk away, and I'll like act like I'm like, oh, where's my phone? Oh, oh, can't find it. I don't know what happened. Oh, you know, can't find Nokia's anymore. Got to make sure that I find my phone. And the minute I get close to Pialter, um, still looking like I don't see them, um, I will like. Put my hand out and like that neck, uh, arm to neck. <laughs> so you press your spoon up against their neck. Mm-hmm. I say, "Who are you looking at? Hmm? Looking at my friends? Hmm? You want to try to kill, assassinate my friends? Huh? That's what you want to do? You, you don't scare me. Uh, I don't. And he puts a spoon up to his own head. You're going to do it. I'll do it myself." You mistake me for someone who wouldn't say yes, so go for it. He is going to try to shablam out of your out of your uh, little headlock. I need a dexterity roll. Okay, so okay, okay. I, I'm I'm going I'm going to fight for this. I know it's dexterity, but I'm intentionally trying to be strong. So I just want like if he tries to move, I just want like, to push strength. harder. I you use strength. Yeah, I'm like, I just want to push harder on him. Like, no, it's not what's happening. Eight. Oh, you beat him. He got a five. He attempts to just fall out of it, and it's not happening. You're not letting him go. This is your capture, Kwame. The I like it's take- right on you, and I t- right on Piotr. Sweat. Close ups. Mm. It's all very dramatic. This is the high point of the spy thriller. And I say, Piotr, in in and he's Russian, right? Oh, very. Yeah. And and Russian, what does your dead mean? How do you say that? I wish Stephen knew. Uh English to mm-hmm. Russian. You don't have to. I guess, I guess, no, no, no. We're doing this. We're doing this. <laughs> We're doing this. You are okay, dead. so we're doing this. Thank you. I merit, merit that. The minute he says it, I snatch his spoon no! and I boom right on his forehead. <laughs> Give me another strength roll. Oh boy. <laughs> 11. Oh my god. <laughs> Get wrecked. The world turns black and white. You are encased in silhouette, both of you. His body goes limp as you have knocked him. Not unconscious, but you definitely left a bump on his head. Take his spoon. Ah, He lies there, dead, reaching out towards the sun. I'll I'll see you in, in... In, in whatever club we're in together, and I'll walk away and go Cha, back. To catch you later. Yep. <laughs> Stands up, brushes itself off. Manny's still looking through their magnifying glass, almost Did. on their hands and knees with their deer stalker on, just intently following these cracks in the scent. Now, Dolly is currently a walking cactus, and it, Manny is distracted. Lenny, did you see any of that? No. <laughs> Lenny, Lenny, Lenny is 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 going. Yeah, I mean, if you think about it, like heat is just like it's just like your your nerves are like sending a signal to your body. So if you just like tell it to stop, like like uh, there, there's a uh, stop there's, mansplaining being on fire, Lenny. There's great, there's a great old school movie, like an ancient uh, old movie called Roadhouse. <laughs> I hate him so much right now. <laughs> All right, Kwame. No one noticed your uh, very dramatic moment, which probably for the best. And as the four of you follow these cracks in the earth, we receive not only re-rolls from the chat. Thank you all so much for that. We also have received some toast. Dun, Ooh. dun, dun, dun. I have nothing to drink. Uh. Good afternoon, students at North Boy Academy. I hope everyone's having a good time. Uh, stop with your grammars, your assassinations, and whatnot. We got a couple of announcements for a moment. First one's come from uh, Five Foot Latina. It says, please remember to notify the Office of Student Housing about your summer plans. We're, we're doing building maintenance over the summer, and we may move. We may need to move your personal belongings. Um, 
why I, why do we need so much maintenance I, you you're telling me i don't know it seems like every day something's on fire or something I, I you know i work in other schools there's a lot less fire in them normally we got one from mount uh uh mount uh Pimeno says, uh, uh, I can't believe we have to have this announcement again, but this is a reminder that flash mobs are prohibited under school grounds. Uh, so will certain members of the theater department please stop breaking out into Don't Stop Believing in the school cafeteria? Listen, <laughs> it's flash mobs. I said, I know, I, I, I'm not a young chicken, spring chicken anymore, but flash mobs, that's, that's, that's at least 10 years ago, kids. Like, that was before most of you was born. So, so we could just stop with all of this. Anyway, that's all it now for us. Have fun. Stop killing each other. Good night. <laughs> oh, my oh. God. Thank you, chat, for those. That was beautiful. <laughs> she needs therapy. She needs so, something. Uh, <laughs> believe in. Maybe to also get laid. I, I don't, don't usually like to prescribe that as a, as a method of. of a... <laughs> but you Glenn, know, Glenn's does just fine on her own. You don't gotta. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't even know this about Gladys. <laughs> In case y'all were wondering, Gladys fucks. <laughs> Aki. <laughs> Aki. Canonically fucks. No, stop. Stop the madness. Canonically, she fucks. I'm going home. Okay? I know we all record from home. I'm going home. (laughs) Anywho. Anyway. (laughs) Manny, as you are being protected by uh, Kwame, the master assassin... Eventually, you follow the cracks, and you find yourself at the uh, club building. It's still under construction from what happened at the end of the spring semester, but it is in use. Um, It looks like most of the damages have been repaired. Um, But yeah, this is where it's coming from. I have found the source of your fire. What? What? It, the lines that were like emanating from you, uh, they, they, they originate here. Okay, so let's get rid of them. Well, we have to find out what they're coming from first. I mean, this is the, what originated, but we have to figure out why they, why they happen in the first place. Just tear it all down. I'm tired of this. We can't just destroy whatever we want. I mean, I know that we do kind of just destroy whatever we want, but we can't just destroy everything, we, uh, whatever we want. I mean, we destroy a lot of stuff, Manny. We, I mean, we do. And my right s- now, my hair's getting destroyed by the humidity. Actually, humidity is very, very good for both hair and skin. Just saying. Well, it makes my hair frizzy. And I don't like <laughs> I think you look cute, but okay. All right, uh, can I kind of see if I can't get, like, an, a, a general sort of look at, like, what might be causing the lines or, like, if there seems to be, like, anything weird or, sure. or out of place? Yeah, um, Ma'at can see the truth, so I think that's completely fair. Why don't you go ahead and give me uh, intelligence power? Do I need to spend a pip point? Yes, please. Okay, I do that. And and what was it again? Intelligence Intelligence and- power? Power? Okay. Do, 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 do. Here we go. That's a 15. Damn. Yeah. Wow. Your eyes uh, glitter gold, and you see that the building in front of you is not just the <laughs> club building. It is a volcanic nightmare uh, similar to a, almost like a castle. No, that's not right. More like a castle and a birdcage on top of a volcano. Uh, Magma spews from the rounded top and it is holding several students inside captive. At the very top of it, you see a 
Well, from down here, it looks like a bird. I'm just going to say that. Is it a really big bird? Yes. Huh. Is it from Sesame Street? You wish. Oh. Does well, only Manny see it? Or do, do Lenny and I see it yet? Or no? We can see you. You do not see this. Um, actually, Kwame and Lenny, could I get an intelligence roll from both of you? Sure, I guess. Believe in yourself. Oh, see? He, Believe in you. you. You did better than me. Kwame, you're reminded of when you all entered Morpheus's dream world. Uh, how the world felt like it was on top of itself several times over. Mm -hmm. Lennox, you are able to see uh, what Emancipation and Dahlia are currently seeing. Oh, snap. That's like a lot of not good going on up there. Big giant bird that's on fire on top of a mountain that is also on fire. Uh, holding several kids hostage. What? What are yes. you talking about? It just just seems it seems see wonky, but I don't see what Jizzy. Uh, I'll see which kids are are currently. Yes, uh, Lennox, because you got an eight on a D eight. Thought I'd you know give you a cookie. Um, you don't recognize a lot of the students in there, but you do recognize one in particular, uh, Nick McDonald. My son. Uh oh. Next to him is uh, Pongu his divinity, uh, the television-headed uh, kind of parasitic divinity. We've got to get them out of there. We've got to do it soon. Uh, and yeah, I mean, uh, Emancipation summons their sword and shield. <laughs> Wait, what, what, what are you doing? What do you see? I a, see a, a bird that needs to get its ass kicked. That's what uh, I see. An, 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 an Can you see this? I, I don't, don't see, see nothing. What the I'm shit? I don't see nothing. I don't know. I don't know. Ma'at, do you think you can help him out, please? Uh, could you spend an AP point? Uh -huh. Here's your truth goggles. Now, Kwame. Can I you... literally get truth goggles? Hey! <laughs> I mean, sure. Why not? That is some D and D bullshit right there, and I'm here for it. <laughs> but no, uh, Kwame, you canonically have uh, heterochromia, right? I do. Yes. So you're having fun. One eye, you see the uh, burning birdcage castle. The other eye, you see the club building. What? Oh no, I got to I got to do this separately. Oh, this is weird. Uh okay. Oh shit. Oh wow. Oh, that's yeah, big. Lots of not good happening up there. Uh-huh. I see that. Wait, wait. Okay, go back. Okay. Oh. Okay, let's do this. And, and like everyone to yeah, roll Manny initiative. Bang, yeah, Manny bangs their sword against their shield and kind of goes rah in in uh in, rah, in response. Rah. I am Hercules. Love again. Love again. Yeah. Love again. yeah. Love again. Love again. Love again. Hey. <laughs> All right, I need initiative from everyone. Damn. Yeah. Crit, I crit, I crit across oh, the board. Damn, good job. Hell yeah, crit on that thanks, shit. Thanks for the truth goggles. I didn't Even know. though it's only half one of my eyes. Ooh. Aki did the opposite. Oh no. We got a two <laughs> on two dice. Oh no. Ooh. Do we have rerolls? I, I, we do have do. five rerolls thanks to the chat. Do it. You know what? I think yes. Uh, rolling a critical failure on initiative, not great. That's slightly no, better. I want that. Slightly better. We'll take. We'll take a five, even though it's still not fantastic. That's yeah, mm. better than a kick to the pants. All right, uh, Kwame, you actually have first initiative. So, what are you going to do? So again, what do I, I see? A big bird. I see Nick and and Pangu, mm -hmm. um, and they're like underneath the bird. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to figure out positioning. So, from what you can tell, the building, because you can actually see both at the same time, it makes it a little easier for you to sort of map it out. Uh huh. Uh, Nick and several other bodies seem to be on the higher level of the bird cage, the second floor of the building. That's mm -hmm. also on top and on top of that, 
you see the large fucking bird. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm not sure exactly what I should do, but that doesn't look good. So, uh, uh, hmm, let me see. Big bird. Bird means flying. Potentially. I'm assuming it has big wings. Yes, it does. Cool. Um, Anansi, if you can, aim right. Uh, wait. Ah, I gotta look, I gotta look in the real, the real world. Okay. Look, aim right th there. Um, can you kind of like just, 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 just hold his wings down. Um, I literally shared your eyesight. I, you don't have to do the eye thingy. I, I was doing it for myself. Fine. Yeah. Go ahead and make the roll to hit. No, I, what I want him to do is wrap the wings and hold him down so he can't fly. All right. Uh, so you are to trying, you're trying to give a status instead of attacking. Yep. I understand. Go mm -hmm. ahead and give me uh, range dexterity. Range dexterity. Why? 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 why did the, wait? 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 Why did he's shooting? What range? You can't strong. You can't strong arm your way into a good shot. I thought it'd be intelligence. Fine. Okay. Um, dexterity. Range. Seven. Okay. It had. We'll round up. He. So. A Nazi shoots, uh, hitting the uh, large bird creature. Uh, it wraps the thread wraps around it several times, and it raises its head. And you realize it does not have a bird's head. In front of you is a large red and yellow bird. No, ma'am. Talons of blood red and a human skull with a uh, slathering tongue sticking out of the bottom, with plumage that seems uh, to be molten. No. Nope. Yes. Uh, this is Phoenix. It is a scarecrow. Yeah, that makes sense. Phoenix. Yep, okay. Uh, uh, um, can you... Yeah, your turn, not me. I'm done. It, it shouldn't be able to fly much now, though. Yes. Uh, losing its ability to fly, it lets out a screech, and all four of you can hear it. Uh, let's see. I'm going to need a, a dexterity defense roll from everyone. Dexterity defense. You and this dexterity rolls. Okay, okay. I will let it be intelligence defense. How about that? No, I like dex defense. No, no, no. No, no fine. No, it's, it's done. It's done. It's cool. That's I mean, cool. this didn't die for me, so I'll just use that. You said intelligence defense? Are we actually? Nope, 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 nope. Do it. Dex it's fine. defense, dex defense. Roll I got a 17. Defense. I'm down. I got a 12. <laughs> CB, please. Eight. <laughs> Three. Oh. <laughs> We do have re rolls if you'd like to use them. Nope, no, no, that's fine. I, I'm a suffer right now because obviously, obviously, the world wants me to suffer. It's fine. Okay. All right. Fine. Fine. Sometimes I'll be that the girl. dice, I'll be that girl. I don't the dice care. tell you the story. Yep, it's fine. Yeah. The, the story's there. Uh huh. All right. <laughs> so, the dice be fickle gods. Uh, let's see. Manny. Kwame and Lennox, all three of you are going to take uh, dazed. Uh, let's see, he rolled a 14. Dazed seven. All of us? Not Dahlia. Except Dahlia Dahlia. Passed. Dazed I'm in my seven. Cactus. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Dahlia inside the safety of a cactus. Ah, uh, oh, everything just got very. Oh. oh, this is already confusing, and now it's worse. Oh, I don't like this. I imagine we're just like screaming. Oh God! Oh, God. Did you? Dolly is like, what's going on? Did you? Did you give me something? Like, did you put something weird in my water, Lenny? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure you're fine in there, Dahlia. Not everyone has a cactus to protect them. Wait, do you want one? No. <laughs> All right, that was its turn. Um, next up, we have uh, Lennox. 
The next stature. I see lots and lots of fire. Yes. Um, and as we all know, beer does not does not burn. So, what if I just just try and and cause a massive like torrent of of watery liquid everywhere to put out the fire on this thing? Okay. Um, you know what? I'm going to make that the normal. Uh, we're going to make that intelligence power. Okay. Is, my, is that my normal to hit? Uh, we are not going to give you... Since it's, you're just creating a status and you're not attacking, it sounds like, we're not going to give you the minus two or the plus two. Okay. All right. Into power. Wah! Mm, six. It's so good. Such a good one. That's a very good roll. Um, okay. So as you give... As you spray beer around, uh, you actually give the... Built, you give the environment uh, extinguished 12. And the bird, even though it does only has like one eye, it's looking at you, Lenny, and it's pissed. Fair. That's fair. Yes. Uh, next up is uh, actually Dahlia and Manny, because uh, Aki used to reroll, you guys share initiative. So you can go at the same time, or you guys can decide who goes first. I'm gonna say Manny probably gets to go first every time since I am an attack. You're a cactus. And they are not. <laughs> well, Someone please draw this. Please draw Dahlia Cactus. You're not the only thing that can fly. Gross, disgusting thing. And uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, there's no reason on 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 Earth that you have a winged goddess and can't fly. So uh, Manny just kind of jumps from the ground with their sword and their shield and Ma'at's like wing like wings just burst from their back like the the representation basically the golden Ma'at. they like fly up and they know they're just gonna do like a do a stabby they're just gonna you know, do a, a the stabby. way I've described Ma'at they are effectively just wings anyway so mm -hmm. I love this uh go and ahead and roll ahead give me the, spend the AP and give me the guardian roll Yes, strength. Now, plus I want power. part of Manny with the wings, the yeah. sword, and the shield. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I want. Oh, yeah. Aw, thank you. That's sick as hell. Mm -hmm. I also want art of Kwame murdering uh, Piotr. <laughs> I rolled a 20. Well, damn. That hits. Uh, all right, and my damage is going to be 10. All right. Um, it is going to take four. Uh, it rolled pretty good on its defense. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. Some damage yes. got through. So. Uh, Phoenix screams. And when it screams, it kind of sounds like a parrot. And it kind of sounds like a human. Ooh, hate that. It ain't great. That. It ain't great. Well, the funny thing is that... The, the, the what might some people might already know is that parrots can actually learn how to talk, uh, especially the African gray parrot uh, is incredibly intelligent and uh, after long exposure to uh, human speech can indeed learn to speak and math. They can learn and do math. math. Yeah. Yeah. You also have to include them in your will because they live for like 90 years. Yep. They are lifelong pets. I'm a cat person. <sighs> All right. Dahlia, you are a cactus. What do you do? Um, <laughs> gosh, so good. Uh, Dahlia, the cactus, standing next to yeah. winged sword and shield, Manny. <laughs> Today's one, episode of New Pantheon. <laughs> I love this game. One week, I would like to play a D and D game where someone's not a cactus. Is <laughs> Can I? I'd like to expand my cactus so that I, like, take the top off of it, yeah? But mm -hmm. expand it out so it can push the fire away from me, possibly? What is this cactus? What breed of cactus <laughs> do you oh, have right those, now? Like, so I'm just imagining one of those tall ones that have, like, like the, the little Segundo? arms. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, the, yeah. The, the ones that are like, yeah. <laughs> okay, I have to pause for a second. How? With Persephone. 
Persephone is the goddess of the underworld and plant life. I yeah. don't know how giant cactus put out fire work here. Well, no. How do, do, well, do this? It's like a moving wall that just pushes the fire back. Like a firefighter. <laughs> Firefighting cactus. Ooh, yeah. I need to show a hand. Should I allow this? Why the heck not? It's fun and creative. Rule of cool all the time. You know what? But it I'm is also gonna... your game. I'm aware. It is also yeah. your game. Yeah. I'm aware. I won't I'm... lie. CB? CB is looking at Persephone like, now where in the hell does Spring <laughs> <laughs> and Cactus come together? But I love it. I love it. So I say yes, because this is anime. I'm going to allow it. I'm going to allow it. You know what? I'm a fan of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure where they make up shit as they go along. So sure. Why not? I want you. Okay, Dolly, I need to ask, though, is this an attack or are you trying to give the status cactus to the playing field? I'm trying to give the status cactus to the playing field and also see what's going on because I am hearing my friends start fighting. And I'm like, oh, cool. Maybe I shouldn't be in this. Okay. I love right. so much. I will allow the roll. Go ahead and give me intelligence range. Okay. 15. So, Dahlia. Yes. Your cactus begins to crack open. As above you, Persephone strikes what can only be described as a Final Fantasy X summon pose. And soon, the entire battlefield is surrounded in Cactus 15. Perfect. <laughs> Everything miss? smells like Cactus Cooler now. Gosh, it's hot out here. What have I missed? Yes. So the birdcage and all of you are surrounded by cactus, by cacti. I don't know. Except me, because I'm flying. Yes, you're flying. Uh, Manny, beneath you, cactus. But why? <laughs> We're going to have to, like, use all of that for something. <laughs> cactus makes really good ice cream. <gasps> yes! That being said, fun fact about Aki, Aki is allergic to cactus. I found this out by actually having some cactus soft cream several years ago. My mouth started itching and I was like, hmm, I think I'm allergic to cactus. So I haven't had it again since. Oh man. I'm allergic to peaches and dogs. So. All right. I'm allergic to bullshit. So I get it. I don't have any allergies. Must be nice. <laughs> I really that. Yes, I'm a big fan. I'm tall. I'm not allergic to things. My <laughs> <laughs> what is oh, no. wrong with me today? I'm just grumpy today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, top of the order, CB. Uh, uh yeah. Um, uh, 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 yeah. So, big burb and many's with the burb lenny is making it rain on the burb dahlia spread out cactus for the burb <laughs> cool i'm going to focus on my son um and i'm going to stretch out my hands and lots of spider silk is going to come out and i'm going to throw it towards the bird cage um and try to like rip it down okay. uh, to try to get nick and bangu over here I'm All right. Uh, I'm going to actually have you roll your normal hit for that. What is, what is I don't do it. I touch. Um, uh, your normal hit as a magician is intelligence, intelligence range. power range. Okay. Intelligence and range point. minus two. Yes. Thank you. I'm just going to roll it and then just minus two. Uh, that's 10. Okay. Um, as the cage is doesn't really have an initiative, I'm going to go ahead and say that will work. Okay. Uh, you rip the door off of it, and the silk goes through, grabbing Nick and Pongu, and you pull them over to you away from the birdcage. Uh, the door of it is open now, and it is a very angry, ugly bird. 
Wait, is it with the bird with it? No, you just opened up its bird cage. Oh, it's mad that I opened up this cage. Gotcha. Yes. Uh, but Nick and Pangu are close to me now. Yes. Uh, they are... Nick is passed out. Whatever happened to him uh, looked like... It looked like he put up one hell of a fight, but he had the tar kicked out of him. Yeah. Uh, Pongu is currently showing the uh, technical difficulties. So, so. I love it. I guess I... Oh, oh shit. Um, yeah, we just keep you... Oh, wait, and I'm going to make sure that it's behind the four of us. So if the burb who can't really fly right now wants to get to them, they got to go through us to get to them. Yes. So that was with, my turn. All right. With that, uh, Phoenix is going to uh, crawl out of its cage. Uh, and seeing Manny, it's going to be a, well, less of a swipe, more of a peck. And as it's a human skull on top of a bird body with a... You uh, it as a bite. It's more of a bite. I don't have the greatest. Uh... Yeah, that's a 15, and your initiative is. It's a five. Uh... That hits a lot. Oh, no, it was going for Lenny, not Manny. Oh, I... you said Manny. Did I? Oh, I'm sorry. I've said. Because I, I... you said Manny because Manny is flying. Yes, but it's going for Lenny because Lenny's the one spraying water. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Lenny, uh, it got a. Big hit. Go ahead and roll your defense as I rolled damage. Five. Uh, so you take 13. Ow. Yes. Uh, it just bites at you for uh, 18 damage. You block at least five of it. So good for you, that. Yay. Ow. Damage is still pretty heck. Yeah, this is a tough yeah. one. Scarecrows are scary. Lenny, uh, what are you going to do now? Uh, well, I got this magical bow I've never used. Oh, that's right. Last, thanks to the chat, we did unlock magical bows. All right, I'm a, I'm gonna string that thing up and fire that sucker at this, at this, this angry bird that just bit off nearly my whole arm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead and give that roll. Oh, that's not how that works. Okay. So uh, these are should be slashes. Let me figure out. Uh, uh, no, I screwed up my macros. I screwed up my macros. My macros. Not your macros. <laughs> my macros. Oh no, everyone's so it's so embarrassing. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Take a deep uh, breath. <laughs> We've got this. Uh, no. All right, we'll just do this. It's hashtag. Is it? Oh, okay. I, I just rolled it. <laughs> I'll just roll the d8s, and then we'll see. How, I'll just roll dex. This is plus four, uh, so that's ten to hit. Mm. Uh, we were looking for a thirteen, sadly, so it does not hit. Okay, well, it's good to know that that bow is probably not the best thing I could. Have so I'm not. Archery's not really Lenny's strong suit. Yeah, no. Uh, you shoot an arrow of uh, what looks like wheat and barley, and it just... Whew. It's close, though. Dang. Next up, Dahlia and Manny. You share initiative, so who goes? You can go first this time. No, I insist. You go first, Manny. All right. I do a, I do a chop. I do a, a, hacking, a hacking chop. Just All gonna right. try and keep keep uh, slicing away at this burb. Seventeen to hit. Seventeen definitely hits. For uh, as you all can't see it, they rolled a uh, one and a two minus two, and I'm not good at math, but that does equal one. Aki, would you like to use the reroll? I've already used one. I'm not going to take three rolls away take from the it, table. Take, take it. it. We, got, take it. We, haven't, we still have like, what, three? Yeah. Of... You have three left, yes. Three. Okay. Three. Okay. After, okay. after this one, we'll have three left. Okay. Yeah. And there is a way for the chat to unlock more for you guys. So, oh, goodness gracious, great balls of fire. It uh, wasn't better! It wasn't better! Okay. Hey, take mine. Nope. 
I had. I only got. I, I wrote. I rewrote. We're just gonna. We're just gonna. That's <laughs> the universe has spoken. We're just gonna. Manny. Take... I mean, look at this way. You doubled the damage you rolled last time. <laughs> I rolled a three on its uh, defense. So uh, Manny forgets that swords generally you want to do the pointy end, not the not the flat end. Pop. Because he hit Shit. it. You do hit it. It just doesn't do anything. Sorry. Historically speaking, that's not true. You use the full sword any way you can. I mean, it is a big old broadsword. Even slapping somebody upside the flat head with the flat side is going to hurt. Yeah. All right, Lenny. I am in emotional pain. I, right I now. haven't gotten yet. Yeah, oh, sorry, Dahlia. Good. Sorry, Dahlia. It's okay. All right, Mika. What does Dahlia do? Is the thing, the thing's not flying anymore, yeah? Uh, nope, it is not. It's unable to fly to begin with, and it's currently, uh, it's unable to fly mostly because of Kwame. And yeah, it's yeah. currently just pecking, biting at Lenny and uh, ignoring Manny behind it. I'd like to do a classic Dahlia Persephone team up and get some roots to hold it down. I'd also like the root to come up and like give it kind of a muzzle so it can't open its beak. Well, the good news is it doesn't have a beak. It's a human skull, uh, you know missing lower mean. part. But yes, I understand what you mean. The hard part, the pecky yeah. part. What I really love is the more I describe this thing, the more uh, CB's face just turns into, nope, nope, nope. It nope, reminds nope. me of a World of Warcraft character I had, an undead warlock named Gurgles, because he didn't have a lower <laughs> jaw. <laughs> okay. I kind of want to start playing World of Warcraft again, but all right, uh, Dahlia, go ahead and give me the roll. Uh, we are going to make this uh, power power and intelligence. Nine. All right. It is grounded five. Oh, man. So that... You basically just cast Earthbind on that sucker. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, indeed. Uh, it's now the beginning of its turn. Um, uh... See? Hmm? Did it go last? It goes. Oh, you're right. It goes. Kwame. It. Then. Yeah, I'm sorry, like, oh, no, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got excited. Kwame. Oh, I saw. <laughs> um. <Yeah. laughs> uh, so it is held down by yes. Dahlia. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Then I look over at this thing. Uh. Uh. I apologize. Um. Uh, Aki, I really do apologize. Uh, uh, Why, what yes. is about to happen? Ooh, oh, you about to turn into a big giant, giant spider? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah, Thanks yeah. You know, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta let you know. Um, Spooter, uh, here we go. Right, I'm just deciding. Um, anywho, yeah, they look and say, "You tried to kill my son. You tried that. You did." And now, if you can hear me, you fiend thing, uh, we've called you scarecrows, so tell your friends that you're scarecrows now. Um, now it's time for you to suffer. And I will just get down on all, all fours, and I will begin to contort as a Nancy gets on me, and our bodies get together, and I become a giant tarantula. I love uh, it. Yep. Going to spend those two AP points, and I'm going to run up and hit it. Or run up and try to bite it. <laughs> Give me the roll. Uh, we still use intelligence range for this power. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm I'm rerolling. That's just crap. That's trash. Fair enough. Eleven. Okay. Um, I now I did say thirteen earlier. However, because of you tying it and Dahlia tying it. I am going to go ahead and lower its initiative slightly. You all okay. right? Yeah, you know, you know, like you push on a, a spot, and it's like almost like bruised for a second. And it's like, ow, I'm good. Oh yeah, no, I actually ate shit at the movie theater last night, and I, my leg is just purple right now. It oh, sucks. you going to see Black Willow? Widow? Uh, I did. I did. I should have turned into a Black Widow. I did too. Anyway, could you? <laughs> I will say, uh, going forward, eleven hits. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I totally did not hear 
the uh the armor the AC, but it makes sense because we have to be before them. Uh, okay, cool, great, yeah. Um, go ahead and roll your damage. Roll that damage. Uh, nine. Okay, it is going to take six of that. Uh, you bite into it and tastes like burnt chicken. That, that's how that happens. Uh, frustrated, and now on its turn, it's going to try to attack you, Kwame. You know, I think even burnt chicken probably tastes at least a little bit good. I mean, blackened chicken. chicken sold all the time at, on like salads. It's fine. Chicken is good. Who doesn't like chicken? Uh, that is a like fourteen on the die, so that is Vegetarians? definitely a hit. Uh. Mm-hmm. Uh. What did I roll for initiative? I rolled a 17, I think. Didn't I? Didn't no. You? I rolled a 14. Yeah. I rolled a 14. That's what it was. I thought it was, yeah. And I rolled a 14 to yeah, hit. So, so you said definitely hit. It, oh, it barely hit. <laughs> I correct myself. I apologize. Everyone. Everyone listening. Everyone viewing. I did not definitely hit. I hit the number, though, as requested. Okay. <laughs> Steven gonna kill me. <laughs> you know what? You know what? I show up every Maybe you week. Should I write these that, whole that, things. That trip to LA, uh, CB. <laughs> I take all this black. I take so much. And this Steven's is what got I get. A, a spoon with your name on it. <laughs> Ding! All right, go ahead and roll me your defense. Uh, it's just defense, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, oh, well, Max and a die, which is four. Okay, you take four. I'll take that. Yes, uh, as it's tied down and furious and its environment has been uh, less inflamed, thanks to Lenny. Uh, And also, it's surrounded by cacti. It's not rolling great. That brings us to Lenny. Go, Lenny, go, Lenny, go. go, go. This music's so good. Oh, yeah, absolutely. The (laughs) the three tracks on Roll20 alone are worth using it. (laughs) I'm, I'm gonna do a water beam about it. All right. Ba-doo. Mercury power. Fifteen is that gonna hit? Fifteen absolutely hits. Go ahead and roll that beautiful beam footage. Uh, so good to crit. Uh, uh, fourteen damage. All right. Eight. Eight. Ten of that. Nice. <laughs> Love it. Uh, Lenny, you shoot at it and. It's interesting. Wherever water hits it, it just turns to rock immediately. Um, And it is in pain, and it is angry, and it has a spider on it, and it's surrounded by cacti. It's having a very interesting day. Manny and Mika. Here we go, here we go, here I just want to say Manny and Mika, I'm sorry. All right, (laughs) Uh, that's a 13 to hit. That absolutely hits. All right, let's see what this damage does this time. Six. Uh, it rolled a six on this defense. Damn it! Would you like to use the reroll? No. Are fine. you sure? We have two left. That's oh, fine. Okay. <laughs> I am okay with not always being the most useful in the fight. It is all right. <laughs> I'm not. I cannot be the hero of every situation. That's ridiculous. <laughs> all right, Dahlia. Uh, you are up. Uh, I'm going to manipulate the cactuses nearest the burb and have the spikes of the cactus impale it. Horrifying. Go ahead and give me that uh, magician hit. Uh, is that it plus? It's not on it's, these. It's minus. Sheets. It yeah. is a. Uh... Int, int range minus int two. Range, range. That's Thank you. Cool. Range minus two. Six. Um, that is not going to hit. Uh, you can use a reroll. We have two left. Seven. Mm, <laughs> still not going to hit. Uh, you shoot out the cacti. All uh, just begin firing blindly because cactuses don't have eyes and they are. The needles are going everywhere, but they do not hit the bird. 
It look it looks cool as hell though. Cool. That style points. All style want. points indeed. Kwame, it is your turn. <laughs> yeah. Um Mm. Okay, yeah, it's actually not as venomous, but that's okay. I'm still going to just <laughs> just right down like on the, the neck of this magma thing. It tastes like an atomic fireball, and I don't like it. Um, but I'm going to I'm I'm attacking it, but I'm I'm hitting it by just like seeping the mild venom that it has within its teeth. Uh. Gross. Okay. Yeah. Well, man, you hit my son. Therefore, uh, okay. Uh, let's see if this works. Nope. Nope. That's a six. Would you like to use a reroll? Six minus two. If it's a magician roll. Yes. Yeah, so it's minus four. two. It's a four. Yeah, it's a four. Yeah. Um, yeah, because these are just, I, I have a better chance of hitting than not. But these ain't been good, Roll20. Shout out. roll is being mean. Oh, yay! Yeah, 16. 16's going to hit, though. 16's going to hit. And then remember so, to add, plus, add uh, plus two to your damage. So that's 23 damage. Okay, Kwame, how do you kill it? That was one away from a crit. Holy yeah, I know. I know. You got 21 <laughs> and a D10 and a D12. I... Still more I, than enough, but god <laughs> damn. I seek... I, I seek... I, I seep the venom into their core, but seeing as I am all spiders, I'm just taking on the appearance of one. What happens is, as I'm pumping through... Anansi um, feeling my anger about Nick being hurt seeps a little bit of uh, brown recluse spider venom into the uh, the wound and it just starts to dissolve from the inside out. Oh, yeah. As it dissolves, the scarecrow lets out a scream. It sounds like a flock of birds and a chorus of pain as it turns to stone and then just crumbles. The flaming world around you uh, vanishes as well, and you are left with reality. You are outside the uh, school clubs um, with a lot of cacti. Um, Nick is uh, knocked out behind you, and it looks like it, the battle is over. Is it still on fire? No. <sighs> I'm gonna fall to my knees, start like smoothing my hair out. Dahlia, yeah, your hair is just poof. <laughs> I'm not gonna go to class this afternoon. I'm going Maybe. to crawl over to. Oh, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. You. you no, no, you go. Like, moment. I mean, <laughs> fair, but it seems to me like if there's anybody here who's capable of rallying, I mean, you're 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 one of like the best I know at it. Besides, if you stay in your room all day, you know what people are gonna say, right? They're gonna say that I got killed, and I can't let them think that you're or that right you were afraid to get killed, <gasps> hiding in your room. I could never. Appearance is everything. Kawame um, still as a spider uh, crawls over to Nick and just like picks him up a little bit and just tries to shake him and like wake him up. Uh, <laughs> Terrifying at all. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Nick wakes up and immediately his soul leaves his body and his whole face goes from, uh, you know, it just goes white. He's white. He's turned into a white man. You've turned him into a white man. <laughs> Mazel tov. That's all bad. That's all bad. And I just go, oh, oh, oh. And I like back up. But you know, like that, that scoot that spiders do. <laughs> yes. It's just yeah. Shelob in Lord of the Rings. Okay. <laughs> Let's just. I back <sighs> up and then I will slowly um, come out of the, the form. Anansi kind of rolling off on the ground. Probably brushing your teeth. <laughs> yep. Brushing his teeth. He singed like every like 
He is now a soot sprite of a spider. Hey, you, you, you did you did good. You did good. It was good. Bah. I will repay you with uh, what's your favorite type of ice cream? Butter brickle. I'll repay you with, with butter brittle ice cream. And then I'll go back over the Nick. Uh, Nick. Pangu is currently over Nick. It's vine-like uh, wires sort of supporting it. Its uh, screen has gone from uh, technical difficulties to just a question mark. And when Nick sits up, still pale, but definitely back to his proper color, uh, it turns into a audience clapping. <laughs> How you feeling, kid? He gives you a uh, nervous, kind of weak thumbs up. Hey, hey, hey! You, you, you took you, you did a lot when we got here. Um, that that thing was like tore up. We just finished it off for you. You did most of the work. Uh, he's embarrassed and looking away. Um, and then he starts looking around. He's definitely kind of caught off guard because uh, he doesn't have a sketchbook with him. Oh, does anybody know where his sketchbook is? Is it, is it over there? Is it where the, the, the cage was? Yeah, Manny is up there at the cage trying to help get the other kids out. Uh, Manny, as the cage is gone, you are on the second floor of the club building. Um, you do find the other students. Uh, they are all, they're all out like a light. Um, they have lost their spoons oh, no. more ways than one. And they are all kind of piled outside the horror appreciation society. Oh no. Do I see a notebook? Um, no, but the door is cracked open. Okay. Lenny, come up here with me. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not going into this place by myself. Need to bring a large meat shield. <laughs> yes. Leaving uh, Kwame and Dahlia outside. Um, Nick begins to make motions with his hands. Uh, do either of you know ASL? Uh, I I know some letters. I'm gonna roll a d20. If it's okay. under, if it's under a twelve, I'm gonna say no. He there's a possibility he does because he is very learned. I just don't know. No, it was twelve. He, 12. he does. He does. Okay. He knows a little. He's not perfect. He knows a little bit. I don't. I need to learn personally. But I yeah, so so cool. It, it is. is a very very good language. Um. He, Nick, uh, says with his hands, I, I got caught and both of you are kind of getting this. It's a little difficult, but what you get is I got, I got caught off guard. Really sorry. Found don't, Scarecrow before you guys did. Don't apologize. You Look, we, myself, Manny, well, um, Lenny, Manny, Dahlia, and me on temporary hire, we might be a part of the school safety squad. We might be the ones who are the face, quote unquote, of, of being a hero, even though it's not what it is. It's not what we want it to be. Uh, you, Kim, Spiro, you all have gifts just like us. Don't think you can't do it. Don't apologize for don't apologize for trying and don't apologize for failing. We aren't always perfect either. But the thing is you tried. And you did very well. Like I said, we finished it off. You had it or you had you had it on the ropes, basically. Um he still looks pretty embarrassed, and then he looks over to Dahlia, and kind of a light bulb goes off. Uh, he digs through his pockets, and he pulls out a spoon with your name on it. Don't you even think And he hands it. it. He holds it out to you. 
<laughs> She's gonna like quickly take it and step back. Uh, he motions. Uh, he spells out. I actually got. I actually was uh, hunting the person, and they had your spoon. Who was it? Uh, Maria Chavez. <laughs> she would have never stood a chance. Thank you. Manny and Lenny uh, inside the uh, Horror Appreciation Club room, which is about Manny as gothy. Like, Manny has like got their hands on like both of Lenny's arms and just like <laughs> kind of just like <laughs> behind him. <laughs> Lenny, you are uh, officially my boyfriend at Not Scary Farm or Halloween Horror Nights. Um, yes, the room is as black, red, and spooky as you could imagine. There is a standee of Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, in the corner. There are posters for films such as Shout and I'll Always Know What You Did on Winter Break and uh, Nightmare, Nightmare on Fear Street. Uh, unconscious at one of the desks is Maria Chavez. And next to her is a scarecrow key. Oh. You think this this key is like like a key key or is it like a movie key? No, it's the <laughs> Lenny. Well, I don't know. They got all these. They got all these posters and stuff, and they got that 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 tall uh, Mrs. Mary Frankenstein over there. So you know, she's un she's unconscious, like like you know the ones before. Probably didn't make sure she goes to the hospital. Yeah, I, I, yeah, that makes sense. And we should get this key to Kwame. I like text Manny. I say, is the sketchbook in there? I don't know where you went. Oh, uh, uh, emancipation will text back where they are, and then yeah, we'll look around for the for the sketchbook book. Um, you actually do find it. Uh, it's not hard. It is. Uh... Listen, Nick's sketchbook is almost as big as he is. It is a large sketchbook, and even though he has the noodliest arms of anyone, it's pretty thick. So. Found it. I text back. Yes. And I was show. I go. Many found your book. They'll be back down uh, wherever they are soon. Also I found the key. And Maria Chavez. We should probably call an ambulance to come get her. Oh. Oof. Probably. Okay. And Kwame, I need an intelligence roll. As you are on the phone waiting for an ambulance. <laughs> Thank you, chat, for this. I was really hoping we'd get this one. It's a one. It's a one. Kwame, you've had a busy day. You've killed two assassins in cold blood, and you have saved a human life, and yet you just don't see it. <gasps> Nerf no! dart. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a shot. I'm gonna give you a shot. You just don't see it in time as a nerf dart with a spoon glued to it comes flying at your head. Give me a dexterity roll. I'm looking for a six. Oh no. Am I able to help? <laughs> I will allow you to help. No. You gotta tell me how though, because we have unlocked Assassination Nation. A random player will be attacked by their assigned assassin. I rolled a d4, it landed on Kwame. Oh, Dahlia's no. had her head on a swivel this entire time, so I feel like if she saw a nerf dart coming towards Kwame, <laughs> she would try to give him a heads up. Okay, I will. Uh, okay, Kwame, I want dexterity roll add two because Dahlia gave you a heads up. I had a plan, and if this effed up my plan, I'll be sad. Uh -huh. <sighs> I thought you rolled another one again. <laughs> Oh, oh, seven, seven, seven! Oh because my of the god, you still. just need... Because of the Okay, Kwame, how do you dodge the nerf dart? How do you dodge the nerf dart? Um, with, with Dahlia, I think, honestly, what happens is, I'm, you know, I'm holding, I'm on the phone, um, and I, um, I don't see it, obviously, and, and Dahlia probably says, Kwame, watch out! Uh, in her awesome voice. Um, and I don't react in time for sure, but what? Oh no! I owe him more than just ice cream. Anansi turns around, jumps off my shoulder, 
and takes the blow for me. <laughs> Anansi. Anansi, in You're slow motion dives in front boy. of you no, no. <laughs> and he is not a big spider the nerf dart <laughs> is like a bullet bill it hits him he goes Poink. <laughs> and then he lands there's a just a moment of silence before he finally goes you son of a bitch <laughs> yeah. i'm sorry can I look um, to see who fired this at? Kwame? Right. You look up and it is it it's Kim. Oh, come on. That was a clean hit. It, Kim it hit What? I want that gift card. Kim? So does other people. Kim. You What's know going on? You know who my person is. Kim just attacked Kwame. But Anansi took the hit. What? Give me your spoons, Kim. Listen, I'm not going to... And she stops as a piece of white plastic bops her in the forehead. Nick has snuck up to the side of her and just bopped her. <laughs> you all take this game really seriously. Ha-ha! 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 This is bull. Oh my god, I am so mad right now. I, I can't even see straight. I'm so mad. Okay, all right. Ugh. She hands all the spoons she's taken to Nick, who trots over to you, Kwame, and with the biggest grin, just gives them to you. Aww. And then I look at Dahlia and I say, You have one in spirit. I will treat you and Kim and Nick. And Manny and Lenny, we all will go to Chili's. But Ben is still out there, Kwame. Okay, then you can have a vendetta against Ben. But I have to go do something. Here you go, Nick. Here you go, Kwame. <laughs> Answer the key. No! Oh, oh. Pocket! <laughs> not yet! I will not suffer yet. And I say, um... I will, I will, we will, we will do this in a moment. I will be back. Don't go anywhere or go somewhere. Just text me where you go. All right, Kwame, where are you going? I'm going to go find Brendan. Okay. Um, you find Brendan uh, hanging out by the football field. He is sitting. Uh, he can't practice right now, mm -hmm. obviously. And even though the season's over, they're going to keep practicing because it's well, just kind of what the club does. Sports ball. And he looks bummed, obviously. And I will sit next to Brendan. Or like, like, a, like, a, like a, a little bit away, but just close enough. What's up? Oh, uh, hey, Kwame. How are you recovering? Um, you know, it's fine, I guess. I was out for a while. Hey, um, so you and everyone else, have you had those things for a while now? Kind of a long story. Um, I don't mind telling it. It is kind of... Um, some stories can be... Uh, embellished a little bit. Hmm. And it may sound like it's... Like a fantasy novel or something, but... Every story has a little truth to it. And that might be a lot to handle. But if you want to know... I'm willing to tell you. Yeah, um, I don't know. He watches as the ball goes flying and another player catches it. I, uh, I kind of had a moment where I thought maybe if I could uh, make it stop screaming in my head and tell me to hurt everyone for a minute. 
I could use it and uh, hang out with Lenny again, and uh, that didn't happen. Is that what you want? You want to? I don't know what I want, but um, listen, you've been around Lenny, too. And uh, he's very easy to like. And he kind of gives you a look. Mm. Is it that look? It's that look. Oh. <sighs> You're not wrong. Yeah, not kind of, wrong at all. I kind of figured you too. <sighs> look. I can't promise you anything. I truthfully... Um, Do I like him? Yes. Am I admitting that? Yes. Am I expecting anything? No. I don't expect much. I can't expect expect a lot of good. When I do, things go bad. But I can at least make sure or see to that you are friends again more than anything. That's, uh, that's nice of you, but I, uh, I think this is something I'm going to have to do myself. Oh, no, I'm I'm not not going to manipulate anything. I'm just saying. Oh, cool. Cool. I can remember things I shouldn't be able to know now. So that's been, uh, that's been a trip. Well, there's one way we can start, and I need you to do me a favor. Um, and next to him, unbeknownst to him, Anansi has put my spoon on the other side of him. Um, hit me with that. Come on, you've been beat up. We hit you. You can hit us back just once. He picks it up and he bops you in the forehead with it. Oh, the horror! Oh no! Ah, I, <laughs> Kwame, Akinyemi, um, captain of the basketball team, has been bested by the, 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 the Brendan of the football team and other things. Ah, I am not worthy. And I drop every single last spoon I have, which is a lot. See, now you can Smash come with us at Chili's. About, yeah, Smash got to about an hour later when like all of this is starting to finally wind down. You know, Manny hits Christina with the spoon and wins the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> I can totally see that. I can stand up and go. I'll see you soon. You know, Kwame, um, you're pretty likable too. <laughs> eh. When I want to be. And that is where we are going to call this episode of New Pantheon Academia. And yeah, Manny probably will kill uh, somewhat Christina and take all the things because that's just how Manny's luck works, okay? <laughs> Manny just flows through life and wins. But Especially because uh, they just don't care. Yes. Like, it's easy when you don't care. <laughs> now, we did unlock our... Uh, sub goal this week which i'm really happy about but we're actually going to roll that over to next week and here's how this is going to go you are going to start next session with five rerolls Ooh, but nice. in order to use them oh no you must play a game of real or fake anime with prompts given to us by our beautiful members on discord Oh no! I'm gonna lose that. I don't watch anime. Hi, I, I know. It, oh so. no! <laughs> I I have watched one anime in a very like in like. Eric's gonna wipe the floor with us. Yeah, yeah, Eric's fine. It really <laughs> is going. And then we have we have don't we have somebody 
Uh, yes, and we do have a very, very special guest star next week. Um, who will also wipe the floor with all of us. Let's yeah. be real. Probably. Yeah. Uh, uh, producer, can I share it? Okay. <laughs> we are going to be joined by Draconiques next week. Hey, Drac, yes! Drac will be joining go! us. I'm so excited. I love that guy. Ah, it's going to be great. Uh, Draconics. Draconics so, in the house. On, Drac. <laughs> I'm very excited to have our, kind of our first guest star in a while. So yeah, I wonder who they're playing. Up. Ooh. Well, technically not since me, and then I became a good uh, You guessed star. failed. You, you, you guessed failed, yeah. yeah. You guessed <laughs> failed real hard. And we're ha so happy you did. We're happy you did. Yes. So that will be hard. Uh, rolling over next week. And uh, before I make, before we have our sign offs and closing announcements, we do have a announcement from NPA. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, you kids, we got one more announcement before you, uh, you go off to school and uh, go home or whatever you do. Uh, we got well, this one's for Chovic Sadi. It says, the Circus Club is performing a magical uh, lightning bug performance at twilight in the quad. Bring blankets and snacks as no none will be provided. Okay, they're very clear about this. There will be no snacks provided. You got to bring your own. Uh, and if you you get lost, don't worry. Uh, the clowns will come help uh, help you find the performance. So there'll be clowns everywhere trying to find out where you go. Uh, so I will not be there. I have a date. In whatever room Kwame's in, he just turns in to come off. <laughs> Locks that door. I don't door. even think you can. I love Locks that. Locks that door. Locks that window. <laughs> hide your nope. kids. Hide your wives. Nope. nope. <laughs> So, my name is Stephen Pope. You can find me online at The Professional Hobbit until I get a cease and desist. That is going to be my name. Um, and I'm also thrilled to announce, I did this on Facebook. I have not done this on stream. I am the lead writer of Son of Oak's new game, Queers, uh, the tabletop role-playing game inspired by uh, the art of Isago. Uh, it is a LGBT Power Rangers. Don't know how else to sell it. Uh, it is LB I mean, you LGBT. don't have to. You don't have to work too hard. LGBT powers set power rangers sounds dope. Yes. Um, yes. Fight ignorance and evil with the power of radical empathy and posing. It's going to be amazing. I'm very excited for about it. You can uh, check out cityofmess.co uh, right now, where you can download the first issue of Queers translated into English for free, and you can also sign up for updates. So we got some great people on this project. I'm really proud of it. I'm really excited about it. So uh, I'll keep you posted on that. Uh, now for Saving Throw show related news, Tuesday, we are going to have a Dune Learn to Play at 5.30 Pacific Standard Time and 8.30 Eastern. Uh, Dune is going to be big and we are getting a role playing game and it's going to be cool. So you can come learn to play it. It's going to be amazing. Now, Eric, where can they find you? Well, they can always find me uh, everywhere on the internet, mostly Eric, including twitch.television, where I stream uh, throughout the week. Uh, and then uh, later tonight, in about an hour, they can catch me, uh, an hour and a half, they can catch me on uh, twitch.tv slash Kyle McCarley for The Board and Barrel, where we're going to be playing uh, Clank, uh, I think one of the new expansions for Clank. I love that game. All right. Uh, Mika, where can they find you? You caught me right at a yawn. Oh, I had to s swallow it. Hi, I'm Mika. You can find me on any social media site at RIP Mika. Um, I'm a variety streamer. I normally stream Monday to Fridays, but I'm working to pack for my move back to LA later this month. So my stream schedule is pretty sporadic. Um, but yeah, I just jump over to my Twitch page at some point. Maybe I'll be streaming. Who knows? <laughs> Hope so. Now, uh, Aki, where can they find you? 
Sure. Hi, everybody. I'm Aki. You can find me on Twitter at Mixed Genie in a Bottle. That's M X G I N I I N A B O T T L E. And I do a lot of streams. So if you want to find out what I'm up to, go to my personal Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash Aki. That's S H I D A R E A A K I. Uh, my entire schedule is there. Awesome. And last but certainly not least, our own Critical Bard. Oh, hey, my name is Omega Jones, also known as Critical Bard. Critical Bard across all social media channels. A lot is happening for me this week, so I'll try to be fast. Tomorrow, Realm Smith, uh, at some point in the evening, where we do a Curse of Stride uh, in a campaign, Into the Mist. Uh, Tuesday, I am guesting on Hills of the Plains over on Demi Plane RPG. Uh, very, very excited about that, to be playing with those awesome individuals. Wednesday, something is happening, but it has not been announced yet, but it is very, very big. I would just say zombies. Um Ooh. Um, Friday, you can catch me on Tompo over on uh, Rock Punch ATL playing uh, Tompo, which is a <laughs> D&D campaign set in the Islands of Sina Una uh, setting, which is a pre-colonial Filipino uh, culture-based inspired uh, D&D setting. Uh, Saturdays, uh, uh, Let's Get Wild Mouth is coming back at the end of this month. More information will be posted officially tomorrow uh, on the Let's Get Wild Mount, uh Twitter and my we Twitter also, as well. We also have Alien uh, Colonial Marine on Saturdays right now, too. Oh, yes. And we have Alien Colonial Marines over on uh, uh, Q Times, uh, which is great, uh, which is a lot. It's, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, also on Saturday evenings, you can catch me on uh, the Lock Network for the Gravicon Order, which is more D&D. And then Sundays, right before this, is Dungeons and Durags. Episode 3 will be next week. You can catch the um, VOD on twitch.tv slash I Need Diverse Games or youtube.com slash I Need Diverse Games. Or, nope, I need, yes, I Need Diverse Games. I think that's it. Everything else is following me. I stream and do all that. That's okay. Bye. Stay booked and busy, man. You are booked, booked and busy and blessed. <laughs> My word. Ah. Oh. Special thanks to Dom Zook for running everything behind the scenes, and thank you for tuning in or catching us on the VOD or however you're enjoying this content. Please do. Um. And. I thought you were laughing at me again. Uh. And hey. Uh. We will see you next week. Until then. Bye.